The insane stretch of weather in Texas continues, man. It's crazy, we never have this long of a stretch of nice weather during spring in Texas. So we have to take advantage of it, man. We got the mini boat and we're about to send it out there into the Gulf of Mexico. We got some nice rigs out there that we should be able to reach pretty easily. Come on, big fella. Woo, all right, man. Let's see what happens. Hopefully this, this wind allows us to be out there for just a little bit and I'll be happy. Man, look over there in that direction. A little bit of dark skies. It is, I think it is heading south though. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. All right, let's go get them. Woo. We've been having super nice conditions, but we've also been having a lot of sargassum coming in, which actually is not such a bad thing. It's annoying at the surf for sure. Kind of does hold a lot of bait and it might just attract fish closer in. Let's start the troll. If you've been watching for a while, you already know my go-to trolling lures, the Halco Max right there. That's, that's my favorite color. We have it on this big reel, which is way overkill for kingfish, but it does have a clicker and it's open face reel, which is nice to troll with. <laughs> I literally just passed up some weed and my only goal was not to cast on that weed and I cast it directly on top of it. And let's get the x wrap out there on a shorter drop. Nice thing about these two lures is the Halco is going to go a little bit deeper and that x wrap is going to stay up top. When I'm out here trolling, I'm always looking around as well. You never know when a big flock of seagulls is chasing something pretty close to you and you might not even notice it unless you're looking for it. Look at this little rig right here. Oh, buddy! I just got cut off by that. No, we didn't get cut off at least. Little bite though. <laughs> right when we're looking at the rig. Got up in here shallow. We got a ball of bait in front of us right here. Let's see if anything's. I guess we'll just troll through it. Maybe not the best idea, but. Look at this. Ball of bait right here. Holy. Look at them. <laughs> There's gotta be something close to this. Holy dude. This guy, I was losing hope fellas. This guy's got a little bit of meat on him. He's got a little bit of power to him. Man, we've been, we've been gone for a while, dude. We've been, no, I dropped him. Finally get a strike and we lost him. That's crazy. That was a beefy fish too. Several hours in, three bites and zero catches, man. Ended up catching nothing in this beautiful weather, but there's always the jetty. Last several days, there's been so many, so much bait around, men hidden out here, and now it's on the outside of the jetty and now it's liable to get blown up on. Nothing's really been on it, but if it's on the outside, something's gotta be eating it. Holy shoot, dude. The bait is crazy. I think we hooked one. We hooked a bait, we hooked a bait. At least now we get to check it out. But I mean, man, this is what this big spoon is supposed to represent. A big one of these guys just dying and fluttering to the bottom. Is it dumb? The one foot long spoon? Maybe. Oh, there's a the reds. Wow. You see him right there? There's reds right here. <laughs> Damn it. Actually seeing fish and I got the dumbest lure on. Oh, we got something. We hooked a fish. We hooked an actual fish under the school finally, dude. It took long enough. Does not feel too big, though. I have no actual clue what this could be. And that's kind of crazy, whatever this, it might be a lady. It's not coming up yet, but. I think it's a small red. Small red on the, what is it? Yeah, a tiny red on the giant spoon. Would you believe that, dude? That is crazy. Damn, look at that. 
<laughs> Dude, you think, do you think fish like to eat big baits? That is crazy. Not even a damn keeper, maybe 20. Look at that. It's going down the whole body of them. Yeah, that's probably 20. Is that insane? Or am I crazy? The little guy. They're out there though, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a joke, Spoon. But I, I just caught like a 21 inch redfish on it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. Well, that was one full day of pretty mediocre fishing for the conditions. But we are up super early. It's about 5.30 right now, and today is actually the very last day of this super nice low wind conditions we've been having. So it is our last chance for a while to get after these kingfish on my little boat. We do have a couple things we learned from yesterday. Number one, the X-Wrap was not getting us any bites whatsoever. So we might just double up on the Halco Maxes or maybe even try something silly like a popper. And also most of the bites we got were pretty close to the beach, probably within one mile of the beach. The rigs did did not really provide anything for us. The last day, the insane conditions. We can't fail, man. We gotta make it happen. We're back out here, man. We couldn't make it happen yesterday. We lost some fish. Woo. I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh no, they're not. This is a big school. Multiple big schools of shad right here. And they're, oh my gosh, dude, this is a lot of bait, boys. This is a lot of bait. This is the most bait I've seen out here. You can just see it ripples on the top. Dude, this is a lot of shad, man. There's so many, so much bait. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. We just passed all this bait back here. There's another school right here. Big freaking turtle right there. What are you doing, big fella? Get out of here. Dude, I'm surrounded by fish. I just threw out the other line and I was running it out and it got cut off. And then I just threw this out and I just got hit. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully this didn't get cut off. No, it's still on there. Let's just run this super colorful X-Wrap. Why not? <laughs> we learned that it didn't get hit yesterday, so we're putting it back on. Hook up, we got it. Oh, there he goes. This is on the X-Wrap, boys. The colorful X-Wrap. This one has to stay on, dude. This is do or freaking die. I made a little run. Now he's feeling small. Is it? I have no idea. It's coming straight in. Something's on there. We might have our own line or something. Nope, there he is. Might be a, I don't know. Some line management though. There he goes. Woo there he goes. He saw the boat. I think I dropped him. No, we got him. We got him. Godly. Oh. The X Rat, boy. The colorful X Rat. Let's see what we got. It's a tiny king. Holy. Mini King, he still made a nice run though. That might be That's sick though. I love the colorful extra hat. We should have never put the extra hat down. Woohoo! Come here, big fella. This is the smallest king I've ever had. I'm not saying caught because I don't have him in the boat yet. Golly! Well, he's a fighter, isn't he? Come here, big fella. You're done. You also don't want to get sliced up. Bang! There he is, fellas. Woohoo! The smallest king I've caught with the gnarliest looking teeth. I guess when they get older, they've ate a lot more fish and their teeth get worn down a little bit. But this guy has super sharp teeth and I do not want to get got by. Believe it or not, this is an easy keeper. Even though it's a small one, they only have to be 27 inches. And this guy is well over 20, 27. Woo and they have to be 27 all the way to the tip of the tail. So this guy's probably like somewhere in the 30s. <laughs> Look at him, fellas. Just an LG kingfish, but it's still 
a freaking kingfish, right? Yeah, I can't, I'm counting it. So we did end up getting a kingfish. Finally, man, we defeated the kingfish by catching a dink. Man, but I'm just thinking, why, why was I missing so many of those kingfish? They are kind of the type of fish that end up getting off the hooks pretty easily, but man, I missed probably like eight, eight in a row got off the hook. You guys got any tips for me when trolling for kingfish, how to keep them pinned up? And I am sad to say this stretch of amazing weather is finally over, man. We are getting back up to about 20 mile per hour winds in the afternoons, but the mornings still look pretty good. And out on the horizon, it looks like we might have some good weather coming up again. One thing's for sure though, it is getting really hot out there, man. And the first day of summer is coming up quick. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys next time.